everybody, welcome to h and L. Today I am going to be making a kind of like a dig and find color thing for my brother. So let's get started. So you'll need Play-Doh. Well, I recommend Play-Doh, but you can use like kinetic yeah, sand or something. But I'm using this super dough because it's big. And you can use small ones of any color as well. I'm just using white. You can use small ones, but it won't turn out as big as mine. But it can be any size you want. But for me, I'm just going to use this big one. You will need some tools. I'm using these. All of these. So there's kind of like a hook. Oh, my brother's stealing it. Oh, well. Um, a knife. A kind of pick. And this kind of, um, I don't know, chisel. And this is like a stab. I got this from Monster Jam. And he's taking it as well. <laughs> oh well. You will also need six different colors. I'm using these kind of like um, letters and numbers. But of course my brother doesn't know numbers yet. So I'm just going to concentrate on the colors. Not the like um, shape. So yeah, but you can use like anything you want, like you can teach your brother or sister to learn like numbers or colours and shapes maybe. So yeah, but I'm using colours for now. You will also need a brother that doesn't know the alphabet yet, or a sister. The first thing you want to do is you need to grab the Play-Doh and you just need to and divide it into quarters. So first I'm just going to make it into a round ball. Well, it doesn't have to be like perfectly yeah. round, but yeah. This is uh, horrible. Let's just try and shape it up. Um, I'll see when I shape it up. So this is my um, not so round ball. It doesn't have to be perfectly round, but I'm just going to use um, this to um, divide it and I'm just going to cut it in half and then in quarters just like this and I'll do the same with the other one And you should have four, um, it doesn't have to be perfectly, like, divided. It just have, has to look at least a little bit the same size. These are my four balls. It doesn't have to be perfectly round again, but I'm just shaping them as round as I can. So I'm just going to set these three aside and let's focus on this one. So we need to smash it down until it's a round shape. And try and make it as flat as you can. Um, this, and try and make it as round as you can. Just make it as round as you can. Or you can um, do any other shape really. But I'm choosing to do a circle. So it's kind of easier. So once you've done that, this should be like your first um, layer. So you need to choose two colours, any colours. I'm going to use green and yellow and we just flatten it just like that then we grab another ball and we set this aside for a bit and we flatten this one and try and make it um, exactly the same shape and exactly the same size as the other one because it wouldn't really work that well I mean it will work but like it won't be as easy it won't be as simple as this so you can come and bring it back and compare it um, I think this is pretty pretty much the same so once you do that you just grab this one and you just put it on top just like that so I'm going to do um, orange and uh, blue and just put it on there randomly any way you want really and then it should look like this well I kinda 
it's not very smooth over there because I kind of failed to film a few times. So um, now you just get this other ball and you smash it. Basically, do the same thing and again make it as um, the same size or at least almost the same and just put it on top and just keep going until you have um, used all the balls now it should look kind of like a cake or a wheel kind of thing a stacked pancake so what you want to do is you need to grab some tools or you can use your fingers and kind of oh my god okay so my brother was just pretending to eat a cake when i said cake um so i'm just going to smoothen out the edges doesn't have to be perfectly smooth, but you can make it perfectly smooth if you want. And just smoothen it out. It should look like this and just, just make it as smooth as you can. And you are basically done, but there's one more step after this. After this, um, you have well, you don't have to, but you can um, write. I'm going to use this pick. I'm going to write colors because that is the theme that I want my brother to um, learn, I guess. But you can do anything like shapes or anything. But I'm doing colors because my brother needs to learn his colors. And... Yeah, you don't exactly have to use tools, but like you can use your fingers again. And yeah, um, you don't have to use tools to like dig it up. So that is colors. It doesn't have to be neat, but so what you want to do, how this works is your sibling can dig it up with tools or they can also use like their hands, just rip it apart. But so you just, a smash it up anything you really want um, just smash it and then once they find something you can ask them like what color is this and they'll probably answer they'll probably like don't answer or answer randomly so this is kind of like a learning but a fun way um, so yeah looks kind of like a pie um, yeah I'm just going to ask my brother to dig it up and I'll ask him his colors Just, I 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 just, I